Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome to my channel. It's a little dark and dreary and rainy in the Silver Star Forest today, so I'm digging into my crystals today. I have a few boxes that I'm doing, so make sure you're subscribed and I've rung the bell because they are going to go up probably a little bit spread out. So if you're curious about that, do uh, watch along. Today is my first Crystal Council box. I subscribe to the Apprentice box, which I'll put the parent price down here because it's escaping me. But what I really liked specifically about the Crystal Council box is that they customize it for you each month depending on the level of subscription that you get and what you tell them in a survey that you're working on for the month. So for October, I focused on creativity and kind of overcoming obstacles, looking for courage to take the next big steps and, and make some big moves. So we'll see how they did with that. Here's the inside. We have a Happy Halloween sticker, a little uh, Frankenstein there. And uh, Crystal Council Live Sale each Monday where they give two giveaways. And they have a newsletter on the back of some really cute art. Um, on the bottom they have the additional items that everybody gets this month. Since we don't all get the same crystals, there's other things in here that um, are common for our boxes. And we get a scroll. I know this from watching many, many unboxings before I decided to subscribe myself. That's a big, long... Um, scroll. So let's see. Sounds like everybody got the same kind of opening paragraph based on the other unboxings I'm seeing. So I'm not going to read it to you because it's not applicable to specifically to my box. Oh, I guess it is. Okay. Uh, remember, what you put into these crystals is what you get out of them. A positive mentality and mindset will go farther than you think. This month, we've crafted your box around ancient knowledge, anxiety relief, and meditation. So not exactly what I said I was looking for, but maybe there's something in that that will help me get to the other pieces I was asking about. Okay, so with the so with with the apprentice box, you get I believe two large stones, two small stones, and then other altar and meditation um, pieces. So here are our two tumbled stones. I hope I got the lighting right for here. I had to move recording areas, so we've got a little more natural light than we did in the old spot. So let's see. These are not labeled, so I'm having to decide from the descriptions what they are. Okay, I'm going with the green one being serpentine. So this one must be strom stromatolite to help connect one to ancient earth and the energies Mother Nature mandated a few billion years ago. This time period was filled with a more pure and unfeathered energy that was in an innocent infantile state. 
place the image of the stone at the forefront of your mind and envision the world as it was. And there's a lot more that I'm not going to read to you, but that's very cool. So we're going back to the other tumbled stone. Do the small and save the big for last, right? Um, we said this is serpentine. I may find a better way to do this for you. Uh, the tumbled serpentine we've included assists in unlocking the kundalini energy within all of us. It is commonly referred to as serpent power and resides at the very base of our spines. Stimulating this energy assists in the opening, balancing, and stimulating of all chakras within us. It's an excellent stone to help develop a healthy, free-flowing energy system throughout the body with minimal to zero chakra blockages. Very pretty. I just unboxed uh, my Mindful Soul subscription box. I don't know if it'll be uploaded by the time this one is or not, but it has some wonderful stones in there this month so be sure and go check that out this i love so much this is the peach moonstone which did come labeled thankfully uh, the peach moonstone shares the same divine feminine energies as other moonstone varieties but offers an extra special connection between your heart and personal will, solar plexus. One will also continue to share the same protective qualities as Moonstone as you work to explore your creative and loving energy and how you might be able to improve them. And more on there that I think is ideal for my needs right now that's just beautiful i just i'm really feeling this one i get chills she's speaking to me she's like i'm the one i'm gonna cleanse these when um i get done with all my unboxings because i feel like i need to put them to work right away and this is orange health site I believe yes so orange calcite so pretty is a stone that resonates deeply within one's personal will meditating with this piece increases your connection with mother earth while working with this crystal you can easily tap into the flowing and expressive energies that it brings Try placing this piece over your stomach and focus in on your solar plexus and sacral chakras. So again, this is really nice. I love that. Um, again, um, flowing and expressive energies. So while not directly related to creativity or um, taking advantage of, not taking advantage, but making opportunities happen. It's really um, grounding me and taking me back to um, where I need to identify those places for it to come from. So even further back, I would say, but then we have a little piece of sweet grass, which is on here. It's harvested in the eastern mountains of Washington. I happen to be in Washington State. I might have to go try and find some sweet grass. Oh, yum. This natural plant has been used for self-healing and meditation. Yeah, that's really yummy. Yeah. <laughs> And then one last little bag here. 
a little Ganesha, Ganesha idol, little elephant. The spiritual tool was made locally in St. Louis, Missouri, and is cast from concrete by Reiki healers. Each piece is truly one of a kind. Looks like he's got a little broken ear there, or chipped. He's very cute. Okay. So, for my first Crystal Council box, I would say I am very happy with what I got. It doesn't speak directly to what I had asked for, but sometimes the answer to your question isn't direct. And I know that, and I'm learning that, so I need to do a little more work to get those asks um, answered, which I appreciate. There's never an easy way to the important stuff. So thank you, Crystal Council. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Silver Forest. I am the Witch of Silver Forest, and I'm so happy that you're here. This is a safe place. I want this place to be somewhere that you can come and be comfortable, know you're loved, know you're loved unconditionally, and please comment away, um, start a conversation. I'm very happy that you're here, and I hope that I get to see you next time. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.